Today we're going to be talking about the electronics of the DIY CNC mill. So the computer that I'm running is a Dell Optiplex uh, 3010. Uh, it's just a cheap computer that I got off of um, a website that we have here in New Zealand called TradeMe. Um, basically it's just an auction site, kind of like eBay, um, but it's our own little little version of it. So the Optiplex computer itself has 8 gig of RAM. It's got a Core i5 processor. I scored it for about $50, so they're nice and cheap. Um, the only problem with them is they don't have the DB25 output on them to be able to run the, the, um, the cards that we need to run the machine. And the solution to that problem is um, to get one of these cards. So this is a DB25 um, card. Basically it just plugs into the PCIe slots in your computer and then it gives you a DB25 output so that you're able to um, talk to one of these. So this isn't actually the one that I'm using but same thing basically they connect together with the cable and then what happens is the computer or the Linux CNC program that I'm running as the operating system will send all the outputs through this card, um, through the cable and into the daughter card. So then this card basically breaks off um, all of the signals to each individual step motor or sorry each individual stepper driver and then the stepper driver will then in turn tell the stepper motor what it needs to do. The computer does all the math, the calculations, sends it through this card, sends it to this card, this card then outputs it out to the stepper drivers and then the stepper drivers tell the machine what to actually do. These cards are around like $12. Um, the other card that I use at the moment is about the same. Um, this card here was about $10, so you can essentially buy a cheap computer off of TradeMe, eBay, um, wherever, whatever auction sites you've got for cheap, um, and then if it's a newer computer it won't have this, this is a, a printer port, um, so then you buy the card, add the card in, um, set up the address for this so that the computer knows where to send the information and then you're away. Yeah, so this DB25 card, um, it came off of AliExpress but I'm sure you could get it from any computer store, eBay, whatever you want. Like I say, very cheap, cheap way of getting a, a newer, more modern computer with more speed and processing to be able to actually run a CNC machine. So the power supply that I'm running to run the uh, stepper drivers is a 48 volt power supply DC so it takes um, 240 volt AC power in and converts that to DC power um, at 48 volts and then it outputs that at 10.5 amps so 10.5 amps is quite a lot um, it's enough power at the moment to run three stepper drivers for the X, Y and Z axes, they're pretty basic. So the power supply itself, I got that again off of AliExpress. Um, bit of a theme happening here. Um, AliExpress is really good for all of this kind of stuff. It's cheap, um, seems to be reasonably reliable. I haven't had any issues with it, so pretty happy you know, purchasing off of there. Best way to find good stuff on AliExpress is go through the comments first and see what people have been purchasing off the supplier and then see if they actually like the parts because if the stuff doesn't work somebody's going to tell you in the comments and then you can steer clear but generally if you go for the top results on the, the search you'll generally find a pretty good supplier i mean most of the stuff i live in new zealand um so the stuff coming from china generally takes between two weeks and a month um, I have had things come within a week and a half and then I've had things come in a month and a half so <laughs> it's hard to know you, you sort of it's luck of the draw really on time frames on getting stuff here all right so these are the um, the stepper drives that I'm using these seem to be pretty good actually I'm, I'm pretty happy with them these are running a 3.6 newton meter stepper motor they run them really well though they've got a lot of power at the moment I'm running them on the the maximum um, amount of voltage that I can run into them and yeah, they seem to be handling it really well. Um, as you would have seen in previous videos, um, if not, there'll be a card up here to, to check out the other videos on this machine actually running. But basically how they work is you've these inputs on here, these are your pulse and direction. So as the computer um, sends out that signal through that DB25 card, that'll send it to the, the daughter board and then that board will output that information to the stepper driver and then the stepper driver will output that to the actual stepper motor. So you've got your, your pulse and your direction. So your pulse is just pulse that it needs to, to know how many steps basically. So each pulse is, a, is one step and then the direction 
um, pin tells the, the motor which direction it should be stepping in. So obviously that's your forward and back on the on the travel. The bottom one's here, that's your output. So you connect your stepper motor to, to these. So you've got your A, A plus, A minus, and your B plus, B minus. That corresponds to the, basically these wires here coming out of the stepper motor. You can tell them pretty easily to, to get the grouping. So you put two wires together, twist them at the end, and then you try and turn the step motor. If you can't turn the step motor, you know that those two are a pair. So then obviously the other two are gonna be the other pair. So that'd be your, your A negative, A positive, B negative, B positive. It actually doesn't matter which way you connect the two pairs into the stepper driver, um, because that can all be changed in the Linux CNC software when you're setting everything up for step and direction. So yeah, pretty basic. Hold This is the DB25 cable um, that comes from the that comes from the breakout board here. So we'll plug that into the computer as well. So this isn't actually a computer monitor that I'm using. It's a TV, 21 inch Samsung TV. So they work quite well. So this is just the operating system booting up now. So I'll show you how I got the little card to be able to talk to um, the program itself. So um, this is called the Step Config Wizard. So this basically sets up the um, the machine to know what it needs to be or how it. <laughs> So the step config wizard essentially sets up um, the machine. So it basically is just saying, this is the daughter card that I'm using. These are the stepper drives that I'm using. These are the ball screws. Um, and yeah, basically just tells the computer all the information it needs to be able to run this machine. So um, if I go, oh, sorry, I'll go back and I'll modify my existing, existing one. So, um, basically the jitter portion here you've got to set so you'll you'll click on this it'll bring this up and then you basically let this run and you'll try and put the computer under a lot of load so you know put, what I did when I did it is I set up the you I had YouTube playing I had um, this program here GLX gears um, so basically it just runs graphical gears on the screen and puts the CPU under a bit more load um, and then you can sort of tell what your maximum amount of load is going to be on the machine um, at any given time so um, we've got one paraport um, so that's the parallel port at the back there that um, I showed you the card for um, this is just the name of the machine this is an XYZ machine um, in New Zealand we run millimeters um, but you've got the option of inches millimeters whatever you want um, the driver type um, I've just got set up as other um, because I don't have any of these different ones here um, so these are all the different cards that you can use with the software um, I'm sure there's more um, so basically these here are the output pins and these are the input pins so as you can see at the moment I don't have any input pins but um, you're able to set these up as l limit switches, um, your phase A, phase B and home X or your spindle index sorry that's for your spindle so that's for that um, encoder that I was talking about earlier this number here e1 uh, e010 that there is the address for that card so essentially if you don't have that address set up that card will not work with your machine um, so you've got to got to have all that set up beforehand um, so as you can see here pin 2 is x step pin 3 is x direction so that's just basically saying um, this pin 
um, on the output of the card, um, whichever one it is, um, will be the output pin for that stepper driver. Um, so that's your, this one tells it which direction it needs to be spinning and this one tells it how many steps. So here you can see motor steps per revolution, so 200 steps. So these stepper motors have 200 steps per 360 degrees of rotation. So that's how the computer can figure out how far it needs to be moving. So you can see the driver micro stepping, that has to be set on here. So that's what these little, that's what these little dip switches and things are for. You'll see on the card here, this is your, your micro stepping, um, your pulses. And then you've got your current, so at the moment I'm running 4.2 amps. So then you need to set up, so this is, my setup is that the ball screws are coupled to the stepper motors. So they're a one-to-one -one ratio. Um, so if you had a belt and you had, you know, a geared a, a gear on the, the stepper motor and then a gear on the ball screw, this is where you'd set that up. So you'd have your amount of teeth on um, your motor and then the amount on your ball screw and then the computer can calculate the the steps per revolution because obviously it's going to change whether it's one to one or one to five or whatever you've got it set up for um, so the lead screw pitch here that's how many millimeters um, per revolution that it moves so my ball screws are, um, are five mil ball screws so I've got that set up as five and then your velocity and acceleration so you can actually test these in the all right so um, if we click the run button here can see the speed that the machine's moving and as you turn the velocity up a bit see how it's stalling out that means it's it's trying to push it too hard so by lowering this it changes the speed at which it's moving but it also sort of sets you up for about the torque that you can use on it so you can turn the acceleration up and it'll, um, it'll accelerate from point to point faster. Um, if I go into here and I turn this right down, you can see how slowly it, it accelerates. So this, the acceleration changes. Yeah, so that was a pretty basic rundown of the um, electrical components of the machine. If you enjoyed the video, click the thumbs up. If you've got any comments, leave them down below. And if you haven't subscribed, subscribe to the channel.